What's up, guys? Welcome to Wednesday. The Wednesday show. What is up? Everybody had a good Tuesday. No BITG on Tuesday. Let's see if I can get the chat I'm talking to myself right now. Anybody here? Evan, what's up? Frank? Glenn? And we got the big wave. What did the five fingers say to the room? What's up, Mets? Hope you guys are excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be Vintage O Plenty. We'll have the huge 1964 break. I think most, most of you guys in here probably have a spot or two. So that's going to be a straight fire. And then we'll do some of the other vintage breaks tomorrow, too. Whoa, second biggest hit in Fairfield today. Was it, uh... No way, Glenn. Really? Really? In a Fairfield box? What's up, Vaz? Good to see you, man. It's all good. Hope you're doing well. The birthday rat. There ain't no rat like a birthday rat. What's up, man? Michael Weber got the first video out? Okay, congrats, man. I'll check that out. I can't believe that. That's awesome. Because, because like, when these things are packaged, everybody knows about that card. It's not like a hidden secret. Everyone's known about that card since the day it came out. Basically, so it's like that's crazy that someone let that slip through. Christ, that's awesome, man. It happened to the right person, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll take an autograph signed by a star, probably, but what it doing? What's up, JT? Nice. Night Lord. Dig it, dig it, dig it. The birthday rat. I love that. What's up, Wrigley? Dante. Sean's here. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. It's not like... Uh... Professional sports, I mean, besides like a really crazy, like like the Black Sox scandal, I mean, they, or whatever, they don't have a, I mean, I don't think they're going to make anybody vacate anything, right? Like, they can't, can they make the Astros vacate the World Series? It's probably just going to be like a punishment or fine or, I don't know, it's definitely, definitely interesting. After getting Ryan Pope, 400 practice squad. This the breaks. Welcome back, Jay Bird. Yeah, JT. My Lord, Night Lord knows what's up. I mean, 2019, there's so many cameras and microphones and HD, and I mean, you can't do anything in a public setting like that. How about the Super Bowl pitchers now where they can literally, if you're at the Super Bowl sitting in the nosebleeds, they have like that HD picture of every single person in the stands. Every, you can see yourself clear as day. If you're sitting in like the quote unquote cheap sheets, cheap sheets, it's not cheap for the Super Bowl, but you know what I mean? You're sitting like at the top, section 800. It's crazy. So it's like, yeah, there's not going to be anything. I mean, people have been stealing signs and stuff forever, but I mean, this is like kind of uh, advanced stuff, I guess. But more importantly for this room, does it do anything to the value? I mean, do people not want to like buy Bregmans and stuff, like runner-up MVP? Is it, does it hurt anybody's value card-wise? Oh, yeah, I'm sure they've been doing it. Yeah, I first saw that maybe like, I don't know, three years ago, Super Bowl. So I'm sure since then it's been everywhere. I remember before that, too. What's up, Andy? Get you those Yankees tonight, man. Get you those Yankees. 
And uh, my buddy Braden's in the break also, Andy. So something happens and he gets Yankees. He definitely wants Orioles. So if you get Orioles, he gets Yankees. You guys can work it out. Clean. No chance you get Yankees. <laughs> oh, man. Cool, Chris. Glad you're able to listen up. Just like they forgave and forgot about Brady. Ah, that's true. I feel like, I mean, though Brady, it's not like, I want to say it's not as public, but I mean, when you got like John Boy Media doing like parody videos, you can like clearly hear, you know, and that kind of stuff. If there was like, if there was like a, a cell phone video of Brady, like, you know, pss, taking the air out himself, like something like really like a smoking gun. I think it could have been uh, worse for Brady, like this. Royals would be good. I would take Royals. I mean, in prison, anyway. Because, uh, you know, Bobby Witt was a second pick. His autograph is selling for a ton. So you kind of want the Royals. Clean Bobby Witt Jr. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. If you guys want to think about making videos, it's perfect because you get mail from here. It's... Something it's something they do like the easiest content ever is just to open the mail and talk about it. You easily make videos that way. He won't be in there <laughs> if you get the Royals. He won't be in there, but if you don't get them, they'll be in there. Uh... It totally got cut. All right, so here's what's up for tonight. Or as Joe iPhone would say, este noche. We have the break in front of us. I think there's still a few spots left. There's four spots. Four teams left in the break in front of us. There's the link. Um, yeah, I was looking at it a little bit, 357. But basically, on the creator side, you're allowed to, to mark it. Whether it's for or not, and I've watched a lot of videos on it, so I don't think it's going to be a uh, an issue, unless you have like little kids running around in the video and that type of thing. Boom. Okay. So there is the three teams left. Three teams left. Cool. What's um Yeah, I mark it not for kids, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mark it not for kids. You're right, Glenn. What's um the one thing that is changing that no one's really talking about? Back in the hobby, what's going on? Three teams left in uh, the products in front of us. What people aren't really talking about is that contests are going to change. And they can no longer be tied to a specific goal. 
or likes or views or like subscriber count. So I can't be, I cannot hype up. I'm giving away like a mantle for 2,000 subscribers. We've got to get to 2,000. Once I hit 2,000, that can get you in big trouble starting like December 10th or whatever. Um, so you can still do giveaways and make sure like, that's why I got like a, the rules for like the wheel and the, uh, I mean the number, the number thing we do, I got the rules in the description. So then, and so after, and I can't be like, once we get a hundred likes tonight, I'm going to give away something like I might, you can, I'm sure people will still do it, but like the rules that I read that changed on December, whatever specifically say that you can't have a contest tied to altering like the analytics of normal use. So I'm still going to give away the mantles and things like that. It'll just be like, hey, I hit X amount of subs, and that means I'm going to do this. I just can't be like, once we get here, let's get here, you know? Yeah, exactly. That, that, just, that just cracked the code. <laughs> uh No, from from what I was reading, you can because if they if you make that your rules and put those rules in, that you're gonna pick a winner from the comments. That means people have to comment. You just can't say, like, if this video gets a hundred likes, or once I hit two hundred subs, or once I hit three hundred subs. You can't do any of that. So I guess they just don't want like certain like videos to get hyped up or. A bunch of likes on a video which then change that changes like the algorithm for somebody if they get like a ton of likes then it might put it more in recommended but the only reason they're getting the likes is because they're saying you know once we had 500 likes i'm going to give away blah 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 speaking of likes only got 12 what's up with that guys trying to keep bitg all to yourself man Tom, what's up man what's up ricky yeah I mean, it's definitely good in a lot of ways, but I mean, and they make a ton of revenue, ton of revenue. So they just want to cover, they just want to cover their butts with the kid thing. I totally get that. And I think it might be sold out, guys. We are sold out. Ball Creek in the house. And yep, Chris L. Gotcha. So again, uh, 1964 break tomorrow. 1964 break tomorrow. And then we'll also do the main and mini vintage 14.0 will be tomorrow. All that's going down tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Nice. I just saw your email, Frank. Clean. Out of 2019. That's an awesome card, man. Awesome pull. Jealous of that pull. Glenn got the spaghetti. He's ready to rock and roll. JT got a new Ripken in the family. He's <laughs> all right. Uh, I think as long as they're posted, I'm not sure. I just I would just post them in the description. Pudgy, what's up, man? So there's Vintage 15.0 uh, that just dropped today. If you guys want to reserve a spot in that early, 15.0 main has your mantle, has your maze, rookie Henderson rookie, a lot of good stuff. And then 15.0 uh, mini is also really good. 
Da, da. <laughs> super. That's funny. Frank with the super chat. Get the party started. Sending a little love. Thank you, man. Appreciate all the love from you guys. Uh, can I not feature my nephew? I'm not sure. I think uh, I think you can. It's just you have to hit, like in that case, if there's going to be a, a kid involved, I think you have to put it's made for kids, I think. I think someone can correct me that's maybe heard, heard from Jabs on this, but I think that's why Olivia stopped appearing in the videos. Like she used to be in like a lot of them, the mail days and things. So I think they're strange. It's really, really strange. But oh, definitely. Sorry, man. So that one sold out. That one is gone. There is. Hang on. There is a. Hang on. I'll go here. There's five. So, but this is this was uh like the main break. There is another break filling. That is Tops Chrome. It's you get five random teams. We've been just kind of running them on demand. There's the link for it, you guys. There's still five. There's five spots open. Each spot gets you five teams. So we'll probably break that at some point tonight too. Probably. Okay, cool. So let me fix that right now. All right. So. Deafness, Shack Rat. Let me get the Deafness last spot. There we go. We all got to sing to Shack Rat. Do you have to sign a release for Moose in the video? Oh my God. <laughs> uh, save. Okay. Poor triple play just doesn't doesn't understand how it works yet. We've tried to guide him, tell him what to do. All right. Perfect. We're all there. Troy, what's up, man? So tomorrow, Troy, is the big 1964 break. I think you got a spot in that, didn't you? And then we're also... Do I'm pretty sure you did. And then there's also the... Uh, mini, the mini and main vintage are... Uh, breaking tomorrow, too. Okay, let's get the randomizer going. Let's see some cards. Time to see some cards. Four is the magic number. Nineteen sixty four. <laughs> Level Losers is here. Come on, Brew Crew. Okay, let's not exit out the stream. Break it off. All right, here we go. Four times. Let's switch. Let me get out of chat real quick. I'm out. I'm sharing. Let's go. So, four times. Two, three, four. We got Braden on top and Braden on bottom. That's strange. Braden got two spots. He's taking one and 30.
Team it up. One, two, three, four. We got the Tampa Bay Rays on top and the Rangers on bottom. Let's see who everybody got. There it is. Hope you guys can see that. I'll leave it for a second. Then I'll put Andy with the Yankees. Wow. He's looking for that young stud in Prism. Andy with the Yankees. Uh, who got the Orioles? Danny. So, Danny, there's an offer from Braden. If you want both of his teams, he will take the he'll take the Orioles from you. There's a guy I know he's chasing in Prism. And there's not much Orioles in Chrome and Holiday. So that's up to you. I know that offer's there. Let me put these teams in the chat. And let me get back in the chat. There it is. I'm back in the chat. What's up, Carters? Sorry if I missed anybody. Cool, Brent. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the uh, separately. Yep. I have all the names. You already see your name probably on the site itself, but I'm gonna I'm gonna randomize both that and the uh, the pack numbers and the participants are each gonna get randomized, and then we'll match them up, and then I'll just do them one by one. I'll put it on the screen, so you shouldn't have any issues finding where uh, your packs are. What's up, Johnny? I'm gonna scroll back here see who I missed. Andy with the big thumbs up. <laughs> Carters is here, good. Shack Rat got his Brewers, seriously? Wow, Shack Rat with the birthday gift gets the Brewers via deafness. That's awesome. That is cool. Okay, cool. I'll let him know. Just blowing my phone up right now. I would do the same. Just because there could be a really nice card in Prism. That's one thing I like about the draft stuff is that all the teams are pretty much can have good quality cards. Like we'll do a ton of Bowman draft when it comes out. So you got teams like Kansas City, Orioles, uh, Marlins have top picks, Tigers. Rangers have a, he got the Rangers. Rangers have good, have like a top 10 too, I think. Clean. So, yeah, I'll give you guys a second or two if you see you want to trade something. And he says socks are available. Yeah, yeah, this is Prism. Yeah, the Prism is draft picks. It's like kind of a, a product just dropped maybe a week ago. It's sort of a brand new product. Five autographs and international signings also. So I call out each name. I got my list up here. I We did one round of this already. So the top guys I know, 
So we'll know you'll know if it's your card, every card. Not too many cards in the uh the thing. I'm all good with my team. <laughs> I bet. All right, uh, any trades? Trade for the Red Sox. We'll take any team. Any team. We got a Tigers for Cubs. Tigers for Cubs coming down. Pudgy. No more Cubs for Pudgy. They're going to Henry M. And no more Tigers for Henry M. They're going to Pudgy. Rob C., what's up, man? Let me fix that. I just text Braden, uh, Andy, so I'll see if he wants to uh, move any of his teams. If you're dying to get rid of the Sox. All right, that's how it stands right now. Yeah, bus is kind of bus is kind of funny. Another 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 trade. All right, I got that one done. What's the what's the next one up? Rockies for Red Sox. Pretty sure that's confirmed. Was Andy wanting to get rid of the red sauce? I just think that's confirmed. Then we fix that up. All right, so Andy's going Rockies now. And Red Sox, Charles H. Okay. All right, cool. Does that look good? All right, trades are closed. Trades are closed. Oh, definitely not. There's there's some good cardinal cardinal rookie autographs in Chrome for sure. And there's a stud pitcher, first rounder. I think something like Thompson, top 20 pick for the Cardinals. He's going to be in there. Holiday, everyone's open for, you know, getting like the metallic super short print and all that stuff. And in fact, that's where we're going to start.
Don't worry, guys. I got the steak knife. Got the steak knife. Jacoby Ellsbury, gone. All right, guys, here we go. Without further ado, let's break this bad boy. I think auctions are still good. I haven't, I haven't didn't hear anything about auctions. Good, good, there, and there. Clean. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, twins definitely do. Yeah, they had like a top 10 pick, I think, this kid's high school kid. Maybe top 15, top 10. It's like a, kind of like a Hawaiian name. Kanoni or something. Top ten picks. This is this is where we this is where we grab up all the Alonzos and Tatis and all these guys in their you know primo best couple of cards. Prism, Bowman draft, things like that. Okay, cool. Drew, you can send a payment. Yeah, I mean, it's probably there. I mean, you sent plenty of time, so. But I will, uh, I'll look in a second. All right, so holiday, here we go. Okay, awesome. Stay up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Holiday love. There's a Biggio. Here's a metallic hand. Nothing like having a metallic hand. Tatis, sweet. You got a late night auction, Ricky? What's going on, man? Hype it up. Hype it up in the chat. What's up? No, we just literally our second pack. Shabbos, our second pack. Yeah, guys. Yeah, all you, everyone that's obviously here and hangs out here, and I see you guys, you can always hype up whatever. I just have an issue with um, brand new people. The very first thing they say is, oh, hey, like, stop what you're doing and go do this over here. It's like, I tried to tell that one guy he'd be really he'd be successful if he just came to hang out here and picked up some some subs and you know see what he's about and and then hype your stuff. Senzel. Soto cup card, nice. Four AM West Code. Uh, would I miss something? Hang on. Oh, there's Ricky. I was thinking doing one Black. Oh, Black Friday super early. While all your wives are out Christmas shopping, y'all can get some cards. That's not a bad. That's not a bad idea. I uh, haven't thought too much yet, but I'm sure we'll do uh, 
some kind of Black Friday stuff. Like it's crazy how Thanksgiving and all that's so late this year, but now it's here. Clean! Cool truth. PSA is happening soon. You guys are going to freak out when you see the roster for the second one. Looking for our first short print. Deafness is back in the game. Sanchez shiny. There's the Vlad for Blue Jays. That makes you happy. Blackman. Nunez. Moose Black Friday. <laughs> he is black. Good work. Strauser and Scherzer side by side. No short print yet. What's going on? I say do it, man. Ricky, because I'm going to... Oh, well, it's, oh, it's Friday. I don't stream Friday. I was going to say... If, you know what? I'm probably going to do something myself. And uh, I could just like lead people in to your... Into it, depending what time. I'm not sure. We can work something out. Nice. There's a Senzel Metallic for Cincinnati. That's pretty. That's a good one. However, not a short print yet. It's a nice Metallic. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, JW is two for two. He hit that Alonzo with uh, X Factor, right? Tim Anderson's good. Bueller, here's a hit. Yankees and clean. Andy. Aaron jumps with a Yankee pinstripe. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hicks. <laughs> I just saw the Aaron and didn't read the rest. Sorry about that. Aaron Hicks pinstripe. Still cool. You'll take a Yankees pinstripe probably any day of the week, regardless of the player. I would think. I would think. Cool. Wow, so we're either not going to get any or we're going to get one short print. That seems to be how it happens. These boxes have like one, two, or three short prints. And right now we're sitting on zero. So maybe we're just going to get skunked. I don't know. Riley, there's a Cunic Cup. Alonzo, that's cool. Oh, Alonzo Metallic. Clean! Wow! Mets owner. Very nice. I do have some one touches ready for tonight. It's all, almost one touch worthy. Very nice. Who's the Mets? Chad. Nice hit, Chad. Metallic Alonzo. Man. Very cool. Take that. Very clean. That was nice. All right, so are we going to get a short print with that? So that, no short print, but I, I don't know. But Metallic Senzel and Metallic Alonzo is nice. Maybe we'll get one in here. In fact, I think yeah, we are. We got one. It's it's an I can tell I can tell it's a nice one too. We got one. We got one. There's an Eloy. And there it is. Oh tiny. So not a bad box. Box. We got Vlad. We got Eloy. We got Short Prince. Senzel. The Alonzo. Okay. So Otani. Angels. Clean. Frank. Frank hits it. Let's see here. Hang on. Let me check. I like to I like to play the game. Alright. Okay, so his super super rare is throwing the snowball. His his rare is the ornament around the glove. 
and then his short print is holding a stocking. So we want at least be ornament from the glove or preferably, obviously, the snowball in the hand. So let's see what it is, Frank. Got the stocking, so it's the normal short print. Still cool. Normal short print, cut card. Let's finish this box up. I should be able to check that. All right, that takes care of the holiday box. Nice. Okay, Tree, I just saw that. Very nice. We'll probably hop right into that when this uh, when this break is done, actually. Yeah, but Shack Rat, the problem is the there's no there's no seeing that code for me. So I like playing the game of looking up the card and seeing what the what it looks like. So then I know I'm looking for, you know. I know, I know what I'm looking for visually instead of a code. Code takes the fun out of it. All right, so here we go. We've had some good luck with these recently. We've definitely hit some autos. We hit some nice autos. Eloy Auto. 357 hit that Vlad Auto. That's crazy. Here we go. Got we got a colored card. First pack with a colored card. Um, I'll check truth. We got a purple. Freeman Atlanta picks up a pretty little purple. Nice. This one's forty-five out of one seventy-five. Love that curl. <laughs> Love that kernel. Love that color. Guys, speaking of color, the Bowman draft. I was looking it up today. The jumbo draft. It's going to have like 20 colors guaranteed in five autos. It's going to be sick. Plus, the guys that you already know will also be in there again. Like Wanda Franco, Joey Bart. All those guys will be in there too. It's not just like... They intertwine it with draft picks. There's Keston. They intertwine it with draft picks because it's called Bowman Draft. But still, you're going to have the people from the other drafts. All from the other Bowman Chrome also. So, it'll be a lot of fun. Fun, I say. Polly in the house. Key boom, Nationals, nice. Robbie A. I met Robbie Alomar at a it's called Bob's Men's Warehouse. Bob's, I think it was called. Bob's Men's or just Men's Warehouse? It wasn't Men's Warehouse. I think it was like Bob's. There's another Keston. Pulled up in a limo. It was all late. Last pack. The beige. Canning. Canning, canning, canning. Okay, yeah, truth. I'm seeing um 
I definitely see uh, the Diamond King and then the uh, two, then the two of the others. Which one for the surprise? <laughs> Clean casted. Yep, you got you got uh two of them that two of them that round. So let's pull Shaq out of Keston Auto on his birthday. That'd be crazy. Crazy you got a team to begin with. That's a good question back in the hobby. It really depends how some of these like rookies that no one's really talking about right now, how they pan out out of update. But regular Chrome is never going to suck because of the four big rookies have rookie cards there. Plus some. I think this year's update could be a sleeper hit. Well, it still has the four rookies, but there are a lot of uh, debuts in it. But you have Keston right here. This is his official rookie. Another another Keston for Shaq Rat. Key Boom, all right. Tony Gwynn, nice card for Padres. Key Boom, Key Boom. Color, I think. We got a little X for Factor. Big name, big name. Nice. Little Lemayu for Andy. I'll take that. It's pretty. Chakra screams Yelich! Polanco. Pudge. All right, last pack. No. It's another Brewer. Another Keston. Wow. It's like the boxes for Keston for Chakra. That's cool. Love it. The car dude makes an appearance. What's up, man? Definitely. JT's auction on Saturday at 7. I'm guessing that's Eastern. Make sure you guys put in Eastern, Central, whatever, just in case. We're not all in the same, uh, same time zone. All right, guys. Here we go. Steve A. hit a $200 plus card last time, and there's sicker stuff in these, so let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Is that East Coast, JT? God, this is like a weird box. that is all there in the middle. Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. It's Eastern. Okay, cool. Nah, man, go ahead. Saturday 7 Eastern. Cool. I won't, I don't go on until later on Saturday too, so I'll try to hang out in there beforehand. See if I can snake some deals. Get the deals for once. All right, so here we go. Get my list ready. Let me. So I want to do it like this. 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 Fine, it's fine. Well, actually, that won't work. Go 
here. Uh, this one. All right, it'll work. All right, here we go. Let me get the chat rolling the right way, though. Nice. Nice card for the Royals on bottom there, Bobby Witt. Clean. All right, it begins. It begins. JJ Blade number four, four, fourth overall pick, Marlins. So nice way to start. Matt Cantonino. I don't think I've seen this one yet. Twins, Rice University, their, their team is always, baseball team is always fire. Nationals, kind of a refractor to it, Jackson Rutledge, Nationals, shiny. Nice one next. Tigers coming up next. Riley Green top pick. It's a little red refractor. Riley Green. These are all cards to, well, some of these cards are worth selling now. Most of them are going to be worth uh, saving. Like, we're pulling the next round of Alonzo and Vlad and all that right now. Dodgers. Michael Bush, Refractor. First autograph goes to the Tigers. Quintana. Take a look at it. Nice little greeny. Looks like Machado of long hair. He was not their first round pick, but a hot prospect. Tigers get an auto. We got, this is Pittsburgh. Priester, he was a top round pick, number 18 overall. Pirates picked up a nice one. And then the one I was saying earlier looks really nice, Bobby Witt Jr., Number two overall pick. This card goes to the Royals. All-American version. All right. Takes care of pack one. Yeah, I'll have to fix that. Was Troy in the house? I missed it. Been kind of out of chat. Sorry. Yeah, 
unfortunately, I had to. It's either so. There's no comments. I have to do it off off the page. I'm not sure. Troy just missed. missed Troy must have misclicked something. Sorry, Andrew, if you're in here. The Vladdy rookie debut red parallel auto number five. That's awesome, man. Crazy. Good to see you back in here too, man. That's awesome. Now, Blake wants to appear here. Now he's not going to be here. All right. Boom. Nice one here. Andrew Vaughn, the number three overall pick, White Sox. Move over, Eloy. Logan Wyatt, this one I'm not familiar with. I'll have to look this one up. Giants. Giants prospect. Got drafted somewhere along the run. Got some color here. Matt Walner. It's going to be a twin. Of USA. Twins got a couple cards. Ryan Jensen is a first round pick for the Cubbies. First rounder for the Cubs. Ryan Jensen. Auto's coming up soon. We got Hunter Bishop, also a good one. This one I know. This one's a Giants no, number one overall pick. Well, the first overall, first pick for the Giants in the first round, like tenth overall. Hunter Bishop, an All American, number two thirty, number two thirty. So that's a nice hit. Nice hit for the Giants. It's a real good one. We got Dominic Fletcher. This is Diamondbacks. This is actually the only card he has in this set is an auto. Same as the Yankees stud Andy's looking for. Two more this pack. We got Matt Walner. We had him just a second ago, I believe. Twins. USA. And another Royals. Not a first rounder, but still a good prospect. Coming out of the University of Florida, shout out Tim A. McConnell, this one's for the Royals also. All right. What's up, Evan? Walk off, what's up, man? Which I won't get Danny's TV. Andrew Vaughn, another good one on bottom. Oh, there's, there he is. That's a keeper for Mets rule. Mets rule, but he'll take this one. Adley Rutschman, number one overall pick. The number one overall pick. It's a 
heat this up a little bit. Got some cool color coming up. Chase Stumpf? Strumpf? Cubs? Good one next. Crusade, like we see in Chronicles. Oh, there's a redemption coming up. Oh, hang on. I want to see if this is points or can it be, can it be points, can it? Okay, cool. Not points. It's going to say points in a box like this. Nice one for Riley Green. That's clean. Number five overall pick for the Tigers. Pudgy goes to bed at night and sends some thoughts his way. Blue Jays, Manoa. Can't see the name on that card. We have Nassim Nunez, Marlins, Marlins. Pretty looking card. 24 to 25. That's a low numbered. It's a good hit for the Marlins. All right, this is not scratched off, is it? Okay, cool. So, all right. This is a green prism, Veyron Laura. I do not know Veyron Laura. Let me look that up. I was hoping to be a first rounder. I could recognize it immediately. Green, which is nice. The Rangers. Rangers going to Braden. Prism Green. That's cool. All right, finish this pack up. Kendall Williams, Blue Jays. And then there's the number th three overall pick for the White Sox. Andrew Vaughn coming up. Base card. Good. All right, two more packs. Sorry, guys, I've been kind of uh, out of chat, keeping the list open. Basketball. Is it? If it was basketball, that'd be crazy. What if it was like Zion or something? I got to random off like a Zion Green parallel autograph to the, to the to the Breakers. How nuts would that be? That'd be crazy. See some. Ooh, it's a nice one in there. All right. Brennan Malone. That's Diamondbacks. Almost out of sleeves here.
Go Axis. That's Tampa. And I need more sleeves. Seth Johnson. Also the Rays. A little fractor. Back to Diamondbacks. Brennan Malone. Auto's coming up. It's numbered. C.J. Abrams. Padres. This one is to 99. And Twins. I think your second auto, Cantorino. This one is two ninety nine. Corey Lee, Astros. And the Mets pick Brett Batty. All right, one pack left. Kind of a cool name. Nick Lodolo. I haven't seen that one before. Nick Lodolo is a red. Lodolo is a red. Next one's a good one, I can tell. Manea. Eleventh overall pick for the Blue Jays. You'll take that one all day. Next one's a sweet card. Bobby Witt for the Royals, number two overall pick. And these are the money cards that are going to be. You'll see when Bowman draft hits. Are these cards now since it was first to market? Bobby Witt, Prism is that numbered? Nah, not numbered, but still nice. This is going to be Bobby Witt, Rushman. Vaughn, Riley Green, Vlade, um, Nea. These are all like the first Bowmans that we're going to be chasing for autos and colors next year. So you'll have a, an earlier prospect card. Unfortunately, I kind of feel better about Bobby Witt Jr. than I do Russman. 
just because he's a lot younger. I don't know. Ethan Small. Brewers. Going to the Shack Rat. And Zach Watson is an Oriole. LSU, same as Bregman. All right, last auto. Garrett Mitchell. This is the, the you could get like one of these college teams. Like last time, Truth got a. I think what's going to be the number one overall pick next year. So this is one we have to random off to everybody. Goes to US UCLA. Uh, Pac-12 Player of the Week. So he's probably going to be a uh, a high draft pick next year. So this is one of those we just got to hang on to. And we'll see who gets that. One second. Abrams, number six overall pick for the Padres. Nice. And the Crusade. And... Diamondbacks, number 16 overall pick, Corbin Carroll. That's a good one, too. All right, cool, guys. It's kind of like a precursor to Bowman Draft. Let's see who is taking this. Future first round pick autograph. Here's how the teams ended up. Rangers in Tampa. Four times. Whoever owns the team on the fourth time. One, two, three, four. Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks got some good cards this break. Diamond Packs. Didn't think they had a team, but ended up having a good break. Diamondbacks. My man, Deathness. That's what's going to be fun about the Bowman draft is because you're still going to have like Wander and all those people in it. But then you're going to have like teams like the Orioles and the Royals and the Diamondbacks, um, Padres. All, well, Padres are, well, no. Uh, Tatis won't have a card in Bowman draft. So, but Padres will still be good because they're draft picks. So it's kind of one of those things for random teams where you got to have a shot at something. Some first Bowman, some stuff to keep. And now I'm back in the chat. Oh, was he drafted, Andy? Hang on, that's going to go to the A's then. He's not on the list. That's crazy. He's not on the break list. 
We'll do like a like a compensation pick or something. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I, I can't. Ever, they're all touting him for 2020, being like one of the top ones. Drop, drop a link in the chat if you got drafted. If not, it's Dexter's card. If not, I'll go to the Oakland owner. Mullins will not be in it. <laughs> Mullins will not be in it. But just double check me on that one, Andy. I, I don't think he was drafted. Garrett Mitchell, two T's. You might be looking at the hockey player, because there's the I don't know. But the hockey player wouldn't have got drafted by the Athletics, so you could be right. But this, I think one card per pack is like a USA person. A non-drafted. I could put some Mullins in it, though, if we really need to. All right. All right, give me a second to put this away, and we got some personals coming up. Via true truth, truth throwing out the gifts tonight. Shaq Rat and Deafness. So we we hold on to yours for a second. Do you think? And do theirs first. So, in celebration of Daphnis's return to the limelight, truth. Hooked him up with a Topps Chrome Update Blaster. And also, for Shaq Rad's birthday, Truth hooked him up. Truth himself has a Diamond King coming. And his own update. So, there we go. Let's uh, let's have Shaq Rat pick since his birthday. There's three boxes. Just one, two, three. Which one do you want, Shaq? That's a good question, Walk Off Man. That's a great question. I'm hoping um, I'm hoping uh, within like two weeks or something. He says middle. All right, middle. Then deafness, and then truth's going to do his, and truth has a couple other things. Alright, let's hit let's hit him with something nice for his birthday. That's how dreams are made. The birthday hit. The birthday hits. Yeah, I think we're gonna do gallery. We're gonna dabble in some gallery probably tomorrow. A little bit of gallery. My love, Paul will probably fill one break tomorrow for like after all the vintage stuff. All right, here we go. 
So this is Shack Rat by Way of Truth Personal Personal. And it opens up with a brewer just like that. Opens up with a brewer. <laughs> back to back brewers. Looks like you picked the right pack. That's funny. Nice Hank Aaron. Mookie. Biggio, nice. Aaron, former brewer. <laughs> Let's try to get my auto for something. Canning rookie. That's a nice Clemente. It's clean. Football, football, man, I could have Immaculate in here tomorrow, Deafness, I'm Mac tomorrow night, football, let's go, Tatis, very good, and Alonzo, clean, 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 Alex, what's up, man, um, we just did uh, the, the Prism, so there was five autos in that, a couple first rounders, And no other autos. We're doing some personals right now of Top Chrome. When's the hockey break? Probably going to bow out on the hockey stuff. Somebody else, somebody else needs to pick up the torch on that one. Our right, last pack for Shaq. Keller, Kershaw, and Door, and then, then the, the captain. The captain last. <laughs> awesome, man. Thank you, Shaq. Thank you, Truth, for that. Seattle hockey team. Will you be instant fan, Glenn? All right. So deafness is up. Box one or two. And then uh, Truth's going to get the remaining one. Wow, JW the Jeter fan doesn't deserve a hundred. Wow. But did you think Mariano deserved a hundred? Shack rat. One or one or two for deafness. Hook him up. Pick the one without the auto. Welcome back. But by the way, I need you to go ahead and get the one without the auto. They both could have autos in them. Or if one has auto, I could go switch it out for another box too. Someone superstitious. One for deafness. All right. He was true. That's true. He was the go to the position. But who, who like, kind of was one of the... Uh, the starters, one of the, the ground layers of that position, Lee Smith. And poor guy just got in.
That's what I'm saying, Andy. Yep. Now that it's now that it's happened, I think you will see it happen. I think we'll see it happen now that it's happened. Maybe not this go around, but we'll definitely we'll see it. I mean, Mike Trout's not going to be 100. percent Come on. When that's so when that's said and done. All right, so deafness is up via truth. Let's do this. The family bidding it. Like the DH closers, yeah. Griffey wasn't 100, that's right. No, nobody was. Everyone home was 100. There's a Biggio, there's a Vladdy. This is for deafness. The real question everybody wants to know, I'm going to put my boy, my brother on the spot, is when does Tuesday auction return? Even if it's just a once a month blowout bang Tuesday auction once a month, we gotta know. That's a pretty one there. Nolan, it's a lot of strikeouts. Chavez is a good one. Yastrzemski, good one. And Riley, that's not bad. Next Tuesday now? <laughs> nah, I think it's next Tuesday. I like to see at least a once a month. Like a big old once a month craziness. Nate Lowe, Ripken, Duplantier, hit his all the other night, There's, there you go, that's the best card so far of this blaster, that big Vlad, the big Vlad. A curved ball from a ping pong, like a wiffle ball. First basketball, wow, that's some good luck. Yeah, deficit will crack basketball and football. All right, Senzel, Mayu, Bellinger, and then a Koufax. All right, so no auto, no color, but the big rookies you need, the, the Vlad regular rookie. Man, if I pull an auto, I'll feel bad. <laughs> uh.
All right. So also, let me go ahead and grab your um. Let me go ahead and grab your Diamond King also. Let's keep let's keep the suspense up. Let me grab the Diamond King Blaster for you. We'll do that first, actually. You should get a good karma. That'd be sick. T dog. All right, we're gonna keep the suspense up with the Chrome and do his Diamond King Blaster. See if we get something cool from here. Get him an auto and chrome. Get him like a Honus Wagner bat relic in here. <laughs> uh, Herrera short print. Uh, nah, 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 nah. DK all day. Man. I just told like I got the only product that we got skunked in. I got skunked in twice this year. Yeah, 2019 uh, Diamond Kings only got one hit twice. There's an Otani short print auto. Sorry, rookie, not auto, as we all can clearly see. Lucas Sims. Wasn't playing in 2009, I know. Hey, however, Glenn, Vince Carter, Vince Carter. <laughs> ben Attendee. Yeah, that Jim Thorpe was cool. I was kind of surprised to see that. Jackie Robinson portraits, that's pretty. There's the Wagner, but. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Eggman, the Judge, Crawford. All right. Ha, <laughs> Rangers have got boom. That's a good, uh, that's a good win for the Rangers. Good, good confidence booster. <laughs> hey, Ethan. DiMaggio. Ty Cobb. I do like how you get these. Uh, Gary Sheffield. Put him in the Hall of Fame, guys. 509 home runs. Come on. Yeah, the century, the turn of the century roster is cool. 
You're not going to see those guys like anywhere else. Unless it's some kind of crazy cut signature and some high-end product, you know. Yeah, Gallery's kind of hit or miss on the artwork. Allen, Big Hurt, Past and Present, Machado Brooks, kind of like that. There's a Scherzer and there's a Luke Appling. All right. All right, bonus pack, and now it's three nothing. <laughs> Just don't sleep. Capital are down like five to nothing earlier this year, and they won. All right, artist proof Bader. Here's your Flaherty in the window. Rookie car. It's not a bad one. That's a good one. And then there's the classic mantle that comes in one of those packs. Thank you, Glenn. I mean, if 500 and 300 hours, I don't get it. And did I miss something? Was Sheffield, like, all in the, the Mitchell report? He wasn't, like, hardcore accused of juicing, was he? All right, here we go. Truth left the other two pick first. He was left with this one. What's going to be in here? Timbo says he was juicing. Is that meaning he was named or what? A oh, Balco? Why? It's, it's funny. I didn't. I don't. Didn't hear too much about him. Auto, auto. Everyone wants to auto for truth. All right, here we go. First pack. This could have been a Jack Rats pack also. Big Hurt. There's a Keston. Key Boom. It's because like everyone else, it's like, oh, well, you know, Clemens and Barry Bonds, that's good, uh, steroids. But I never hear anyone say, yeah, Gary Sheffield, steroids. I'm sure people do. I just... In, in my circles, Tatis, that's a nice one. Tatis, I love these family business rookie cards. They put the RC on there. One of one. Ah, you got some color in here. Let's see a nice low numbered or X fractor. It's a refractor or something. It is canning. It's not bad. Canning refractor. 247 out of 250 is close to it. 2004 sports. I know he used the cream. I saw some, uh, speaking of that, Jim, I saw some uh, stat lines somewhere today that it was like Trout's first seven seasons and Barry Bond's first seven seasons were like, they're almost like identical to numbers. And I think from like 87 to 93, I don't think Bonds was doing all that. Became a freak later on. There's another cast in there speaking. There's a trout. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Yes, Chad, you did. You hit a metallic Alonzo out of, out of Holiday, man. Italic Alonzo out of Holiday. That was the highlight. There's some other stuff, too, I think, in Prism, but that one sticks out to me. Speak of the devil, I'm not here. Yelich, got it. Yelich. Let me just do this right now. Yellow, just the trout. Yellow goes over to the rat. And that is done. Okay. Mookie. 
And a video. Man, I can't wait. Can you guys wait for next year? I, l I literally can't wait for next year. All these rookies and all these, like, speculating of, like, all these, like, young players. Who's going to maintain? Who's going to drop off? You know, is Biggio going to have a crazy year and Vlad falls down? Is Senzel going to go nuts and we're all, like, digging his cards out of the so-so pile? Are one of these, you know, is Wander going to get called? I mean, so, so many things. What a good time to be a collector. Wow, no auto. So, we did, what, two boxes in the break and three boxes now. So, now we're five boxes deep of no auto. So, if we do, if we fill that other four boxer, there's a good chance we're going to have an auto or two. Let me see how many spots are left in that. We got four. Four spots, and each spot gets you five random teams. Each spot gets you five random teams out of four chrome boxes. Man, yeah, Tani's dropped some for sure, but I, that's another one I'm looking forward to see. If he pitches next year, is the stuff going to go up? I do see Otani's autographs are still maintaining, Timbo, so maybe some of the low number of stuff is still good too, no? I actually just sent in an out of 25 uh, refractor from uh, Silver Pack, Otani. Oh, cleaning! Wow, Target had clearance one. I bought all six, got Aaron Jones Jr. Wow. Hmm. Was it originally going for a hundo? Mixed up. Clean. All right, cool. All right. A couple of sales, six or seven. Yeah, I really, for that kind of stuff, I, I still think, I still think about Tani as premium. My opinion would be is if you can hang out until uh, beginning of the year, especially first game, he goes out and like gets a win in the mound or hits a home run or something. I don't know. I'm still I'm still a fan. Uh yeah, walk off. So the PSA is moving down, guys. Ten. There's ten left. There is ten left. What up, Mike? <laughs> Glenn, probably. I'm glad I don't have to deal too much with that. Moose is just more about eating. It's 
All right, let me take that out of inventory real quick for walk off. Three, five, sevens in it, so we'll probably do this one. Two left. Two spots left. There it is. Two spots left. All right, speaking of moves, let me go check on the little guy. Give me like just a two-minute break here. Yeah, Moose is still not 100%, but he's like, you know, okay. He's just not 100%. His, uh, I just dropped the link. It's uh, the four random, the five random team four box, five random teams and four boxes of Chrome update for twenty five, and we just did five boxes and we got no autos. So the next four boxes, we could see two, we could see two, one, two, three. I don't know. Let me go check on him real quick. And there's two spots left in that bad boy. We're back in the game. Puerto Rican. All right, cool. And we are sold out, guys. Thank you guys for filling that. Hoping we see something tasty. Just hoping we see something tasty. We are sold out. Give me a second to uh, type up.
The five, 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 five for everybody. I get the A's and Mariners. <laughs> Truth, Terry, three five seven, it's Jim, and Terry again. Gotta watch out for Terry this break. On the upside. <laughs> All right, cool. Here we go. Let me get out of chat. All right, there's the players. Four times. Here we go. Got a gym is in one and 30. Two, three, and four. We got the Cubs on top and the White Sox on bottom. All right, there it is. I'll put it in a second. And let me know if there's any trades. Guys can trade on this.
And we're back in the chat. Uber rise typing in caps like I miss Joe iPhone. <laughs> Guys, um that is Joe iPhone. Yeah, man. Are you selling a one of one? Eloy, Eloy. We hit we we hit an Eloy out of this before. We also had a clean out of twenty five. Nasty. It's at PSA right now. They have possession. Derek says all my teams for the Jays. Good lord. That would be the Reds for Senzel. Rangers. Marlins, Indians, Rays. Uber Rise is cheaper. Then who? Joe iPhone? Oh, oh, then Lyft. Uh, I think it depends where you are, like what market, what time of day, and all that stuff. All but White Sox. True says, give me that Mets. All right, so we got a Mets for athletics. Let me change it. All right, so the Mets are no longer Jim. And... Athletics are leaving truth. Going to gym. <laughs> what is Pudgy is deleting his comments? <laughs> it's did he ban him? Oh goodness. Pudgy, that was Joe iPhone. Pudge is hiding out. <laughs> oh, man. Classic. That Alonzo auto. Yeah, Larry D. That's a... Uh, we have hit a nasty one here. And hey, Larry, thanks for getting the PSA spot, man. I haven't seen you here before. Welcome. That should be a lot of fun. We're breaking a 1964 set tomorrow that's sold out, but it should be fun to watch. Only here in BITG. Three five seven is not here. I'm on my TV. I'm gonna get two autos because we were, you know, we did five boxes so far with nothing, and the other breaks, um, we were averaging like an auto every three breaks. So it's, it's definitely not out of the question to get two. Out of these. All right, so I guess trades are closed, right? Everyone's grabbing them up. So they're just subbing to your channel. Larry, YouTube has this weird thing where... Uh, they don't want the word sub to be said a lot inside of a chat room. They view it as spamming. It's one of their, like, filter algorithm words. So if someone ever says, like, they got you or they're following, that just means they're subbing to you. All right, cool. Here we go, guys. Larry says there's going to be an Alonzo auto. 
So, let's see. Oh, I know. How crazy would that have been, right? Well, at least then there was more like regular card shows or, and card shops all around. But yeah, can you imagine like the virtual card shop world we have now on YouTube, like back then? So many 89 upper deck boxes would have been broke. Casting. And a key boom, nice. There, he's been drinking. <laughs> yep. Auto, I think. Hang on. Yep. Yep. Just like that. Just like that, we hit an auto. I'm telling you, we might get two autos in here. Is it going to be... If it's Alonzo, then... I'm going to ask Larry what the pick three number is tomorrow or something. That's going to be nuts. All right, here we go. I'm not even going to slow roll it. It is. Oh, it's a pretty one. Gold. Aaron Nola. Very nice for Philadelphia. Clean out of 50. 12. Didn't see, didn't see an Aaron Nola coming. Very nice. Terry B with 10 spots. Nice, Terry. Very nice. Gold, too. All right. So, it's the instant Terry, what you want for that? <laughs> A little bit of color. Dig it. Pretty. He has a nice signature, too. I like his signature. So that was the first one. I'm going to go ahead and say, here, watch this. This is how BITG rolls. Here's the deal. If we don't get another auto out of these three boxes, I'm going to throw a box in on the house because I appreciate you guys. If we don't hit another auto, I'm going to throw a box in. I'm feeling we need to get two. All right, here we go. There's only one auto per box, so we're not going to get another auto in this box. But yeah, let it boost to bring it. <laughs> we won't get another auto in this box, but we could maybe get some color. But bang on the trash can for the next auto. I will. I actually will. I swear I will. I'll, I'll do a little peeking. There's a Keston. It's a nice Reggie. There's so many, uh, definitely more brands now. Actually, no, there's just like not as many brands, but there's more products than the 90s. Hang on the trash can. I love it. <laughs> Pidgeo. Ozzy Wazzy. He also pulls me the Jeters. Canning. Tatis. There we go. Going to give Walkoff another chance to try to hit that Nick Senzel. Clean rookie auto. That'd be a monster. Of course, from color or something. Auto Surrells bubblegum and stickers. That's a great comment. Or just like hologram, another Keston. Or just holograms like when the upper deck came out. Remember a uh, cool memory about cards and like my grandfather. So when upper deck came out, like I was showed him the card or whatever, and he looked at the hologram. And for some reason, he got older, you know, old, old Italian guy. He got so excited for that little hologram, the upper deck hologram. And he pulled out his credit card. Oh, I'll never forget this moment. He pulled out his credit card to show me the little hologram on the credit card. He thought it was the coolest thing. He was like a science guy. And he worked for NASA. And 
That's just a cool memory I have of 89 upper deck and my grandpa. Getting a little sentimental here, BITG after dark. I want to hit the trash can. I want to hit the trash can. Another Tatis. Four to one. Alonzo, Alonzo, Alonzo base. Okay. See, now I'm playing along with you guys. I want an auto bad, so I don't have to throw another box in. <laughs> this is how we want it. Big hurt. Yeah, small things, best memories. That's a good way to put it. All right, we're striking out this box on an auto or color. Got some of the rookies, though. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, Mike, when we when we first started, I was going to like 3 a.m. Eastern. And then that's kind of died down now. A bunch of stuff I got to do off stream to keep it running. But I should do like a throwback once a month where I'm just on until like 4 a.m. Eastern. And that's what we would say. There'd be like off the wall comments at like 1 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Eastern. And then we would be like, you know, BITG after dark. That's a good one for the twins. I'm really high on this guy. There's a Senzel. That's nice. It's a good pack. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Yeah, you got to look at it as a whole. JW's had some, uh, I guess, what, two nice two nice days now? Cleared the up, balls to down. Ripkin and a trout. Ripping a trout. Yeah, chrome is great. And the best part is they, uh, oh, we got color. All right, we got something. We got a green. Green's coming up. The best thing is, too, like, we get, we got to, like, forget about Chrome. Because the beginning of the year, you got, like, all your early products. You got, you know, Heritage comes out, Series 1, Series 2, all the stuff in between Diamond. And then all of a sudden, like, Optic will come out for Panini. And then Chrome hits. And, like, oh, the cards are so cool. Big name, big name, Bregman. It's a big name. Bregman Green, 49 out of 99. Bregman. Is Bregman tainted for you guys now? Are we all still Team Bregman? Yeah, <laughs> 3F. Bregman Green. So, I don't... I don't know if I've seen an actual true color and an auto from the same box. So that might have been the card this box. Oh, that's right. You did you did get some stuff out of that one, yeah. But that's that's the breaking world. And then all of a sudden you can hit a five hundred dollar cap card. I'm not gonna say who, but someone's hit a upwards of over five thousand dollar card in this room. Plenty of five hundred dollar cards. So it's kind of like all of a sudden you get some of that breaking money back. Enjoy I know. Back when we could see all the numbers, right? I'm kind of struggling these days. Good thing there's magnifying and Zooming on phones and computers and stuff. That was the only way. The stats were important because we couldn't look them up. That's how you look them up. Besides that, like an almanac. <laughs> junk wax. <laughs> I didn't say nothing junk. I think that's all to the to the lore of it now too, because back in the '90s, it's like yeah, you could hit a Griffey worth a couple hundred and the Maguire worth a couple hundred, 
but there was no grading there's no autos really except for when in the early 90s they started putting in like upper deck would put in one in every five cases in Nolan Ryan auto that type of thing I didn't see anything either <laughs> uh... come on auto Cuna Cup, Bueller Cup. Another hobby to get me broke. Alonzo. And there's another Senzel. Nice. Those kind of come together. All right, two more packs. We need an auto or we're getting a bonus box. Bonus BITG box. Not this pack. Shop. Is it? Hang on. Oh! Boom! Duplantier Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks. Truth. Truth hits it. Tony Gwynn. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not the best signature. J Dup. J Dup, something like that. Wow. I did say two out of we when we when you go 0 for 5, you pretty much gonna go have you're gonna get your average. I'm getting that goal sweet. <laughs> Daphnis, that was that was, that was my favorite Duplantier auto I've ever seen. <laughs> Second to last pack from the freebie box. Oh, that's funny. Key boom, cool. All right, now that one's not numbered. Yeah, it's kind of strange to see like a non. Uh, rookie. Usually chrome, and they're so heavily. Autos are so heavily. Just like the checklist is just all rookies. I mean, there's. In these, that's really cool. I really don't even. Uh... I'm not even sure. Does he have a base card? I'm sure. Why is he? Why is he even in update? He didn't get traded. Wasn't like a, you know, it's not an all-star card or anything. Awesome. Still can't complain. Whoa, what's over there? Oh, that guy's good. Do plants here for Diamondbacks? Yeah, he's a good pitcher. He's a rookie. He's like a little bit of Kikuchi buzz. But I think he had a better year than Kikuchi. <laughs> but seriously, no, not numbered. Yep, and that's how we get jaded. It used to be, uh, that's how we get jaded, Larry. It used to be all about just getting our favorite player, 80s and 90s. What's the, like, oh, we got the, we got the rip, we got the player, we got the player. Then it turned into, let's get an autograph. Now it's, oh, we got the autograph, but is it numbered? <laughs> uh Clean numbers. That's like, oh, it's not like it's not like out of ten, out of one. Let me take that off and that off. Okay. Good. Print that bad boy. Print. <coughs> wow, 1040. Print, print, print. All right. Go, go, and go. Do do. Um. 
Actually, no, I haven't really been checking email too much. Uh, email right now or, or earlier earlier today? Or yesterday, was it? I know I got an email yesterday from you. In fact, you know what, guys? I'm going to call tonight early. I don't see anything else in the queue. And tomorrow's going to be a big stream. We've got 150 packs of 1964 to, uh, to open up. Plus two mini vintage hits. Those are going to break. And we'll still have like a normal break tomorrow night also. So a lot of stuff. Big BITG part of the biggest Thursday shows we've had. So until then, you guys need something, please email me. But I'm going to hop off and see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much.